2020 seems to have um, started on bad footing when we look at the geopolitical event that took place uh, yesterday night, overnight. Tensions between US and Iran are likely to increase, to escalate, uh, following the latest um, US um, attack against uh, Iran's top military leader, who was also killed. As a result, of course, the oil has um, increased uh, massively, up to nearly 63, 64 dollars per barrel, as well as gold following up uh, on uh, fears that escalation is going to um, increase demand for safe havens, of course. Now, at the same time, we really have to um, follow the news and see how Iran is going to uh, if, of course, retaliate or is going to react. In the meantime, we've seen the gold uh, and the oil, as I said, moving higher. I want to look at those two today. We have the EI report coming in as well later in the day. Um, the question is whether oil is going to continue moving to the upside. Uh, well, in my do, um, we have some signals on the, uh, on the MACD that um, there is some sort of exhaustion. At the same time, um, Russian oil production hits new records uh, despite the OPEC Plus deal, and that might also support uh, the decline. Uh, but it might take a while for that to, uh, to take place. Now, starting o with oil, um, I've changed my view, to be honest, right? I was looking at this um, with a different perspective. I was looking at this as a, uh, an a, a, B down here, and a C. Now, uh, since the uh, last break over here, I was looking at this as an impulsive move, right? But it, it doesn't really look impulsive. At this moment, we've got a correction WXY that is going to uh, take out probably uh, stops anywhere e near the uh, 69 level or so. And that is the case because if we consider this as uh, impulsive move to the downside with wave primary or wave one being down here and this as a, as a yeah, correction, um, we are going to see that this A, a and B Fibonacci extension over here brings us to the 69.60 or so. This is a 78.6 Fibonacci extension. Now, if we look at this from the top level, right up here and all the way down to this um, December uh, 18 low, that also brings us to 78.6 Fibonacci retracement. This is called the confluence level, right? So the 69.50 is a very, very str strong support level, uh, resistance level, sorry. And at the same time, uh, what also uh, makes this a very good possibility to, to get up there is the fact that this is now, uh, at least I'm seeing this as an open triangle, right? Uh, and this will be the end of this cor corrective pattern with W, X, and Y potentially ending up here, right? This will be a confluence between the uh, ascending trend line of the open triangle, the 58.6 Fibonacci retracement of the move to the downside, and also the 78.6 the Fibonacci extension of waves A and B. Don't forget that um, we have broken above that level now, right? Creating for now a false break. So we could see some move to the downside for a correction. But as long as we remain above uh, this trend line, we should be looking for prices to move further up. Now on gold, one second, let me just go on gold as well. Um, everybody seems to be thinking that the gold is going to move higher. Okay, it might be the case, it might be the big case, but as, I, as I've said, um, I think it was last week or either on Tuesday. No, I th actually I think it was last week. As I've said uh, last week, as long as we are not uh, moving above the 55, uh, 1556, right? I'm still looking at this as a correction. And uh, it's not just that, it's also the fact that this last move to the upside really looks corrective, okay? We've had the last wave looking impulsive, but this is really not an impulse, right? And that makes me think that we might see another move to the downside, which again makes me support the original view, last week's view, that this is going to be a triple zigzag, okay, over here. Now, 
Uh, if we look at this uh, descending channel that I have drawn, right, I've connected those two bits, and then taking this level up, connecting this top, that brings us uh, down here, right? So we broke above that level, we've created a nice move to the upside with this corrective move extending uh, to the 200 Fibonacci extension. You can call it an extended zigzag if you may. Uh, and now, since we are actually near the 88.6 Fibonacci retracement, we could go high, we could go up to 95, but as long as we are below the 15.56, I'm still looking at this to move lower. Uh, so anyway, here we could receive uh, some signals that uh, I mean we do already actually, right? That the prices are going to start moving lower, and that would make this an A B C a last move to the downside. That's likely to end uh, down to the uh, confluence level of uh, you know prices and this uh, descending channel. Now what we really want to see, right? We want to see prices moving back within this descending channel, right? So once we get that move, uh, you know, breaking within this channel, then we should um, start looking at this as a correction. In the meantime, I would pay attention to uh, what's happening around this top, okay? Because it's very uh, critical for the uh, short term and also medium term uh, performance of gold. Thank you.